Space travel may not be suitable for expectant mothers, those 85 or over, or those experiencing any of the following medical conditions. Schizophrenia, suicidal ideation, gun brain, high blood pressure, and big fat ankles. Please consult your doctor before flying with Jug Galaxy. On Avenue 5! Hey gang, I'm JP and welcome back to Egotastic Fun Time! Today we're gonna have a great time talking about HBO's all new hospitality sci-fi space comedy taking place 40 years in the future where a luxury space liner and its 5,000 vacationing guests end up three years off course from its original eight week tour. And what happens when societal norms begin to break down as things begin to go very wrong for the occupants of Avenue 5. Three injured passengers, no longer injured. The last bit of good news. No, no, no. Um, they're dead. Probably should have led with that point. Right. I've been looking forward to checking out Avenue 5 for a few months now, but I really wasn't sure what to expect. I mean, this is a genre that we rarely see on television or even in theaters, you guys. Avenue 5 is a straight up sci-fi space comedy. The fact that it's being produced by a huge studio like HBO is also very surprising to me. Sci-fi comedies are risky. But from the premiere, I can tell you that HBO has spared no expense. The sets are absolutely gorgeous and the cast is amazing. Avenue 5 is a luxury space liner created so that rich people in the near future can go on space vacations. I can't help but think perhaps HBO wanted to greenlight this show because of how popular the Orville has become with sci-fi fans. The Orville originally launched as an homage to Star Trek, but with a comic twist. Although Seth MacFarlane really wanted the Orville to be a space drama, he knew Fox would never agree to pick up the show unless it had a bunch of jokes in it dick jokes to be precise. But as Seth always planned for it to, to become, the Orville quickly evolved into a sci-fi dramedy once fans got on board with the show's universe. I've actually seen a lot of comments over the past few weeks about how Avenue 5 is a ripoff of the Orville or that it's just making fun of a utopian future, but that's the kind of comments you have to expect in a world where people get all their information from tweets. Yeah, I said it. Stop doing that. Avenue 5 is written and directed by Armando Iannucci, who also created Alan Partridge, The Thick of It, and Veep. And this show very much has the comedic tone that we all assumed the Orville was going to have when it premiered. You what? did, you did like a... Okay, it wasn't exactly like that, but it was very similar. Well, I think Avenue 5 and the Orville's audience will cross over very well. Avenue 5 is nothing like the Orville, except for the fact that there's a spaceship and that there are people in space that live on that spaceship. Other than that, it's apples and oranges. The Orville takes place in a utopian vision 400 years in the future where humanity has set aside their differences and worked together to explore the galaxy. And every once in a while, they'll have a karaoke night. Oh. You will be silent. Crew karaoke tonight, Captain? I only ever sing when I'm drunk, so ask me again at 5 p.m. But Avenue 5 takes place 40 years in our future. It's not utopian at all. It's the same society that we all currently live in now, but with four additional decades tacked on so that our capitalistic, consumeristic, I want it now, social media obsessed world has had enough time to get spaceships. Avenue 5 isn't a funny homage to Star Trek at all. Instead, it's an homage to The Love Boat, Gilligan's Island, and Lord of the Flies. Avenue 5 is a luxurious aircraft carrying thousands of wealthy passengers on an eight-week cruise sometime around the year 2060. We meet the calm, competent captain of the ship, Ryan Clark, played by Hugh Laurie. As a longtime fan, it's really nice to see Hugh Laurie return to his comedic roots in this series. Captain Clark is great at putting everyone at ease with sayings like, fly safe, fly true, no man left behind, and of course, my favorite. Hey, set your phasers to fun. Hey, Captain. <laughs> They are so great. No, they're really not. But Avenue 5's captain is also hiding a pretty interesting secret that I'm not going to spoil for you in this review. I'm Herman Judd. I believe in space tourism. 
not just because I run a space tourism company, but because I genuinely believe in it as a thing. Josh Gad plays Herman Judd, who is the owner of Avenue 5. He's basically the future's version of Richard Branson, who seems to be more concerned with keeping his shareholders happy than he is with the ship being thrown off course. Judd is a spoiled tech billionaire whose ego has to be reined in by his assistant Iris, played by Susie Nakamura, whose job it is to not only keep Judd shielded from the world, but keep the world shielded from Judd. We're also introduced to Avenue 5's hospitality expert, Matt, played by Zach Woods, the ship's engineer, Billy, played by Lenora Crichlow, who I am now officially deeply in love with. An aging astronaut played by Voyager's own Ethan Phillips, an older married couple with an overbearing wife, and another married couple going through a bitter divorce. And save me a seat. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. By the way, it's gonna be at the bottom of the swimming pool on deck. You. After seeing the series premiere of Avenue 5, I'm definitely on board to see where this story goes. It's an interesting concept. It's got a great cast. The writing is really well done, but I will say I'm a bit worried because the pacing is a little bit slow. Some of the comedic banter I thought could have worked a lot better with some quicker beats or some faster cuts, but it is the first episode after all. From what I've read, the series is supposed to have a slow burn to it, where things ramp up over time as the situation becomes more and more dire. We've mapped the new trajectory. That implies we no longer have the old trajectory, and I really liked the old trajectory, so I prefer if we just keep the term the trajectory. Yes? The producers do have a very much intended trajectory planned for this first season, but viewers are literally being bombarded right now with an abundance of choices of entertainment from a myriad of streaming services. I just hope people are willing to give Avenue 5 a chance to gain some momentum. Because this show has all the right ingredients to go on for many seasons, you guys. The ship is three years off course. Hugh freaking Laurie is the star of it. There's 5,000 people on Avenue 5, so you never know what new characters you might be introduced to each week. And the show looks just really good you guys and while I love the scene of the how the ship gets thrown off course and the science behind it I don't completely understand why they're just not able to steer the ship back to its intended flight plan I mean it just doesn't make sense to me and I don't mean to brag but I'm what you'd call pretty stupid every inch of the ship is designed for fun you can even take a tour of the bridge just don't touch anything what did you think of the Avenue 5 premiere? Do you think fans of the Orville will take a liking to this new sci-fi comedy? Are you ready for more Avenue 5 like I am, or was it just yet another show about a branded dildo hurtling through space filled with panicked animals? You can let me know what you think by joining the conversation below. I'll see you very soon, and as always, I hope all your times are egotastic fun times. Love you, bye bye. Ego classic fun time. We're gonna have a great time. Ego classic fun time. Give me all your money. Give him all your money. You will find me funny. Just give me money. I love money. Give me all your 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 money.